seated. So let me just double check our connection, make sure we're all good. Okay. Once. There we go. Now we'll get started. Find a comfortable seat on your mat. Your legs can be crossed or folded underneath you if that is more comfortable on your knees. Um, we'll begin just by deepening our breath, beginning to kind of shut our minds off to anything going on off our mats, anything outside, beginning to focus on our breath and on our practice. So your palms can be facing up or can be facing down. Relax the shoulders down your back. Let your eyes soften or fall closed if you're okay with that. And just begin to deepen your breath, taking a few full inhales and long exhales. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Setting an intention for yourself on this next breath. Whatever you need, just inviting it in and asking for it. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, drop the left arm behind you, right arm in front of you, take a simple twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Right arm behind you, left arm in front. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up and come back to center. Exhale, drop the left arm, reach the right arm overhead. Breathe here in a simple Side bend, really opening up the right side of the body. Taking your time, warming up. Then inhale, come through center and switch sides. Drop the right hand, reach left arm overhead, breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Good. Inhale back to center, both arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, relax the head and the neck, plant the palms, shake out the head yes and no, stretching out the spine, dropping your day, whatever you had to do today, whatever you have to do after this, just letting it all go, giving yourself this hour for your practice. Walk yourself back to seated, bringing your hands to your lap. Take a couple of neck rolls, beginning moving the neck side to side, alternating, tilting the head right and left. And forward and back, looking down, looking up, down, and then up and back and bring some circular motion into your neck rolls. Moving clockwise, and then counterclockwise, switch directions. One more inhale, exhale. Roll over your ankles, coming into your tabletop position, hands and knees. We'll continue warming up the spine with a couple cats and cows. So on an inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, tailbone up. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, look up, tailbone lifts. Exhale, round, pressing the shoulder blades to the ceiling. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, press the mat away from you. Inhale, back to neutral. 
This time tucking the toes and lifting the knees to high plank, holding here. If this is too much for you, you can always modify your plank and stay with your knees to the mat. Coming up to full high plank if you can. One more breath. And then press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Stretching out your first down dog. Pedaling the feet, alternating your knees, bending the right knee, and then bending the left knee. Shaking the head out yes and no. Not holding anything there. Staying with the breath, creating a nice rhythm. Smooth inhales in and out. Not being afraid to make some noise so that you can hear your breath. It's easier to stay with it. On an inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog, warming up the shoulders. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the hands, and baby step yourself to the top of the mat. Separate your feet hip width distance apart and find rag doll, separating feet either hip width distance or wider. If it's comfortable for you to have a wider stance, take it. Opposite hands to opposite elbows and hang out here. Letting everything in the upper body just hang heavy. You can sway side to side, forward, back, whatever feels good. This is your practice. So taking on whatever variation of the poses that serves you best. Always listening to your body and honoring what it's telling you. Good. Drop the fingertips to the mat. Heel toe the feet together. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise to stand, reaching the arms overhead, palms press. Exhale, hands to heart. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, sweep up, sun salutation A. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to high plank. Taking a breath in at the top, you can drop your knees to modify, or exhale to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog, pressing the heels towards the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the hands, and step or hop yourself to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, just like that. Inhale, sweep up, using your breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back and lower down, chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog, relax the shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to stand, arms overhead. 
exhale, hands to heart. Good, right from here we're going to come into high lunge. So bend the right knee and send the left foot to the back of the mat, staying high on the ball of the left foot. Keeping the bend in the right knee. When you're ready, sweep the arms overhead. Breathe here. Take one more breath. And on your exhale, fingertips to the mat, runners lunge. Inhale, straighten right knee, pyramid pose, variation. Exhale, rebend, finding some movement with your breath. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend right knee. Inhale, plant left palm, reach right arm overhead, simple twist, exhale. Inhale, reach the right arm overhead, extend it, breathe here. One more. And exhale, release, fingertips to the mat, plant, the back foot, cartwheel up, warrior two. Settle in. Back foot spins parallel to the back of the mat, arms in a T, right knee stays bent. On your inhale, flip the right palm, reverse your warrior, just for one breath. Come back to warrior two. Turn to straddle for a quick goddess pose, having the toes slightly turned out. Sitting low on your exhale, bending at the elbows, bending at the knees, having a tuck in the tailbone, keeping the chest lifted, heart open. Breathe in, let it go. One more in. And we're going to turn to the back and do the same sequence. So on your next inhale, sweep high lunge on the left, facing the back of the room. High on the ball of the right foot, bend in the left knee. Finding your grounding, adjust your stance as you need to. Stay with the breath. One more inhale. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, runner's lunge. We'll move through that pyramid pose. Inhale, straighten left knee. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, coming into your twist. Planting right palm, lift left arm to the ceiling, exhale. Inhale, left arm reaches overhead. Exhale, find that opening. Deep breath in. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Spin the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Settle in, exhale. Breath here, inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, exhale. Breathe in, exhale, let it go. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, turn and set up your goddess pose. Inhale, arms to a T, toes turned out. Exhale, sit it low, bend at the elbows, bending at the knees, tucking the tailbone. Heart is open and lifted. Breathe in. Sit low. One more breath in. One more exhale, sit in your goddess. Inhale, high lunge on the right, facing forward, sweep it up. Exhale, step to the top of the mat, hands at your sides, mountain pose. Take a breath in. Exhale completely. One inhale, sweep up, 
rinsing out that sequence. Exhale, forward fold. Moving through a vinyasa. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back and lower down, either chaturanga or drop the knees to modify. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, stretch it out. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the hands, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep. Bend the knees, sit the seat, chair pose. We'll be here for just a few breaths, so get comfortable with the discomfort of chair. It's supposed to feel a little awkward. Having a tuck in the tailbone. So scooping that tailbone under, keeping the chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. Arms up, palms facing each other. Weight is in the heels. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold over straight legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back. Lower down, chaturanga or modify if needed. Inhale, half up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep right leg to the ceiling. Exhale, pull your knee to your nose, core plank. Step it through and set up your warrior one. Sweeping up, grounding down through the pinky side edge of the left foot. Coming back to your breath. From here we'll set up humble warrior. Widen your stance on your mat, so we'll wiggle walk that right foot to the edge of the mat. And I like to also widen it by walking my left foot to the left edge of the mat as well. Take an arm variation behind your back, whatever is accessible on your shoulders. Maybe that's clasping, maybe that's prayer hands or just reaching for opposite elbows, opposite wrists, or your shirt if that feels best. Take a breath in to set up. And on your exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips, rinsing out the shoulders, letting the head relax and hang heavy next to that bent right knee. Feeling grounded and strong in your feet. Building a strong foundation. Staying with your breath. Take two more. Stay with it. If you have a bind, bring your fingertips to the mat and wiggle walk your feet back to a lunge position. So you'll come into runner's lunge only to transition to warrior two, coming up to warrior two. Then flip the front palm Reverse your warrior as you straighten the right leg. Reverse triangle. Breathe. One more breath in. Exhale into that stretch. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale to side angle pose. Either elbow to knee and left hand reaching up. Or you could bring the right hand to the instep of the right foot. Extend your side angle by reaching the left arm overhead. 
keeping the breath moving here, feeling that straight line of energy moving through your back foot all the way out through your top fingertips. Two more breaths. One more breath in. One more exhale, let it go. Good, then inhale, fingertips to the mat, pop up onto the ball of the back foot, runner's lunge. Then plant the palms and transition through your vinyasa. Exhale, lower to chaturanga or drop the knees, modify. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep left leg to ceiling. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose, core plank. Then step it between the hands. Ground down through the pinky side edge of the right foot and sweep up, warrior one on the right. Running down through the feet, setting up that foundation. And then begin to make your adjustments to set up your humble warrior. So widen that stance and take the arm variation of your choice behind your back for a shoulder opener. Inhale to lengthen the spine, set it up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, folding forward, rinsing out the shoulders and letting the head drop. Letting everything hang out. Staying with the breath. Grounding through the feet. Strong in the legs but heavy in the upper body. So letting everything go, dropping everything onto your mat. Whatever you don't need, any thoughts that are popping up, rinse them out and leave them here. Take one more breath in. Exhale completely. Release any binds, bringing the fingertips to the mat. And then wiggle walking the foot back to the center. And then coming up onto the ball of the back foot. Briefly coming into a runner's lunge. Just as a transition into a warrior two. So ground the back foot. Rise up, warrior two. Flip the front palm. Reverse triangle. Straighten the left knee. Breathe into that stretch. One more round of breath. And then inhale, come back, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose on the left, either elbow to knee or left hand to the instep of the left foot. Breathe. Extend your side angle by reaching the right arm overhead, palm faces down. Relax the shoulder, keep it away from your ear. Keep the breath moving. Chest is open, rotating towards the ceiling, opening up the hip. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, fingertips to the mat, brief lunge, then plant the palms, step it back, move through vinyasa at your own pace using your breath. Exhale for chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, taking your time, find your down dog and stretch it out. Coming back to your breath. Back to that rhythm. Full inhales. Complete exhales. Deep 
deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand, reach the arms overhead, palms press. Exhale, hands to heart. Take two breaths here, just coming back to your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to that intention. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back and lower down, chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, core plank. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, warrior two, sweep up and ground down on your exhale. Inhale, straighten right knee. Exhale, reach forward, out and down, triangle pose. Breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then we're going to take this to wide-legged forward fold. So bringing the fingertips onto the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward towards the long edge of your mat. Breathe here. You can take whatever arm variation you'd like here. Options are right here on your mat in front of your face. You can reach for your ankles or take a yogi toe lock. You can reach them long in front of you like a wide-legged downward facing dog. Or if you'd like to turn them to face the wall behind you, that's an option too. This is your practice. So take on whatever forward fold feels best. And stay there for three more breaths. Inhale, fill up. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walk the hands back underneath your face if you've moved them. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up to stand, hands to your hips, using your core to help you up. We're going to turn to face the front and hop the back foot in slightly to set up pyramid pose. So keeping the right toes forward at 12 o'clock, having the back toes turned out slightly. Taking another arm variation behind your back, shoulder opener of your choice. Take a breath in, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips. Letting the head drop, aiming the nose towards the knee. Using your breath to take you a little bit further into this pose. You don't have to get into the full pose on your first fold. You can inch by inch move on every exhale, finding a little bit more softness with each breath. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. One more breath. Release the finger 
fingertips to the mat. Inhale, half lift, setting up revolve triangle, bringing the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Right hand to right hip, begin to revolve the upper body to the right. Maybe this is enough for you right here. You can also extend the right arm. Keep breathing in this pose. It's easy to hold your breath in this one because you're balancing, you're twisting. So that's even more reason to keep the breath moving. Make that hip adjustment, right hip back, left hip forward. One more breath. Good. Gently release it on your exhale. Plant the palms to the mat and step both feet to the back, high plank and lower to the low plank, moving through a vinyasa at your own pace with your breath. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale for your downward facing dog. Taking your time. Moving with your breath. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, sweep left foot to ceiling. Exhale, pull knee to nose, core plank. Inhale, left foot to ceiling. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Spin the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten left knee. Exhale, reach forward, out, and then down. Triangle pose. Breathe in, lengthen, exhale, rotate the chest open, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, fingertips to the mat and turn to face the long edge of your mat for another wide-legged fold. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, forward fold completely. Option to take any variation or take lunges. So I'm gonna take the lunge variation, bending into the left or right knee first. Coming through center and switching sides. Moving with your breath. If you're lunging with me, take one more round on each side. One breath on each leg. Inhale back through center. Exhale into your lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Everybody come back to center in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your hips, come all the way up to stand and begin to set up that pyramid pose on the left, taking an arm variation of your choice. So it could be prayer up, down, or opposite elbows, wrist, shirt, whatever works for you. Slight turn out of the right toes, left toes are pointing forward. Take a breath in, lengthen. Exhale, hinging from the hips, folding forward. Take your time. Relaxing the head and neck, aiming nose to knee. Softening on your exhales. Pulling the left hip back, right hip forward. Deep breath in, exhale. Two more breaths in, let it go. Inhale, 
exhale. Drop the fingertips to the mat, setting up your evolved triangle. Bring the right fingertips to the outside of the left foot, left hand to the left hip. Begin to rotate the body to the left. Continue to breathe. And either stay right here with the hand to the hip or extend. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release it. Find a little bend in the left knee. Plant the palms. Step the right leg back. Left leg meets it. High plank. And move through low plank, moving through your vinyasa. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, stretch out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rise up to stand, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take two breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, release the hands to your sides, palms forward, getting ready for tree pose and a little bit of balance. So starting by grounding down into the right foot, picking up the left foot as your lifted leg. So choosing to either bring it to the inside of the thigh, shin, or ankle. Your choice. Bring the hands to heart center. Set up your tree. Lengthen through the spine. Lengthen through the side body, lifting up through the crown of the head, grounding down through your standing foot, relaxing the shoulders. Take one more breath. From here, bring the left knee into the chest. Hover it here. We're going to send it back, coming into a warrior three with airplane arms. So flex the foot, reach your arms back, palms facing the floor as if you're pressing down on something, gazing with something slightly in front of you. Breathe. From here, we're going to drop back into a high lunge. So drop the left foot, sweep arms overhead, high lunge, breathe in. And bring the fingertips to the mat, bring, coming right into a low lunge, untucking the left toes, hands to the top of the thigh. You can stay right here or extend the arms overhead. If a back bend is in your practice, you can feel free to take on a little back bend in your low lunge. Good, I'm taking this to lizard lunge, so bringing the hands to the inside of the right foot and wiggle walking the right foot to the edge of the mat. You can stay on the palms. If you have tight hips like I do, this is where I stay. You can come down onto the forearms, or if you like to come into traditional lizard by coming, lifting the back knee, you can do so. Breathe in your lizard, opening up the hip. Option to either stay here or bringing a twist into your lizard by keeping the left hand planted, reaching the right arm up. Letting the right knee fall open, rolling out onto the edge of the right foot. 
Maybe adding that quad stretch by reaching for the top of the left foot. So whether you're here or you're in traditional lizards, staying with your breath, opening up the hips. Take two more. And slowly begin to release it. Take your time. Plant the palms, tuck the back toes. And make your way to downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Pedaling the feet. And inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands to heart, and we'll set up tree on the other side. This time grounding down into the left foot. Picking up the right foot, again, just avoiding the knee with your placement, inner, so choosing inner thigh, shin, or ankle. Bringing your hands to heart center to begin. Bringing the focus onto your breath. Your hands can stay at heart, or if you like to extend them, you can take that as well. Crown of your head is reaching to the ceiling as your standing foot is planted into the ground, relaxing the shoulders. If you fall out, get right back in. Take one more breath in your tree. Then bring that right knee into the chest. Hug it in. Get ready to send it back for airplane on the left. Airplane arms, so hands at your sides, palms facing down. Flex the right foot, really lifting up with the right knee. Breathe, setting your gaze somewhere in front of you. One more breath. Coming into that high lunge, so dropping the ball of the right foot. Sweeping arms overhead, high lunge. Just one breath here. And coming right into your low lunge, dropping the fingertips and the right knee, untucking right toes, hands to the top of the thigh. Option to stay right here. Coming into full expression by reaching the arms overhead. Back bending if it's in your practice. Reaching up and back. Deep breaths in. Full exhales out. One more. And fingertips to the instep of the left foot, coming into your lizard. So walking the left foot to the edge of the mat. Staying up on the palms or coming down onto the forearms. You can stay right here in your lizard. Or taking that twisting option, if you'd like to let that knee fall open, coming onto the edge of the left foot, bringing the right palm to plant, lifting the left arm to the ceiling. Breathe here. Maybe adding that quad stretch by reaching for the top of the foot. Opening up the shoulder as well as the hips and the front of the right leg. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Exhale and slowly release. Take your time, don't whip out of it. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to high plank. Exhale. 
exhale, lower to low plank or drop the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hold it here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly lower. Down into Sphinx Pose for one more back bend. Bringing the elbows under the shoulders, palms planting into the mat. Fingertips are spread. Lower body is relaxed. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe here. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release, bringing the palms into the mat, tucking the toes, and make your way up and back to downward facing dog, finding a neutral spine, maybe pedaling the feet out, alternating bending the knees, getting a good stretch. From here, we'll set up Pigeon Pose, sweeping the right leg to the ceiling. Exhale, bend at the knee, open up the hip, letting the foot fall to the left. And then swing the knee forward, bringing the shin as parallel to the top of the mat as you can. Untucking the back toes. Take a breath in, finding some length, standing tall. On your exhale, you can either stay here, just like lizard, with palms planted, if that works for you, or take this as far as your hips will allow you to go. Maybe that's forearms, maybe that's building a little pillow with your hands to rest your forehead on, or completely relaxing your forehead onto the mat. Breathing into the hips, keeping that Right foot flexed. Take three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And your inhale, slowly make your way out of your pigeon, bringing the palms into the mat, and tucking the left toes, lifting the left knee, coming into three-legged dog, stretching out that right leg, maybe making circles to stretch it out, or giving it another little hip opener. And then when you're ready, finding your down dog, preparing to set it up on the left. Sweeping the left foot to the ceiling, keeping the foot flexed, bending at the knee, left foot up and over to the right, opening up the hip. And then swing it through, setting up your pigeon on the left. Shin is parallel, as parallel as it can be to the front of the mat. Take a breath in, standing tall. And then on your exhale, maybe staying on the palms, coming down onto the forearms, making that pillow with your hands or coming all the way down, forehead to the mat. Wherever you can find a stretch, but maintain your breath. Wherever you're feeling a nice stretch and a hip opening, but not feeling any sort of burning or pinching pain. You want to open up the hips, not injure the hips. So always listening to the body, being compassionate, being patient. One side may be a little bit tighter than the other. So being okay with that, maybe taking a different variation on this side than the other side. So 
find a place where you can work. Take two more deep breaths. Full inhale. Exhale, soften those areas of tension. On your inhale, slowly make your way up. Take your time. Plant the palms into the mat. Tuck the right toes. Lift right knee. Make your way to three-legged dog. Stretch out that left leg. Maybe making circles. Stretching out that hip. Need another hip opener. Lifting that left foot up and over to the right. Eventually lowering it down, stretching out in your downward facing dog. Both legs are straight, lifting the hips, pressing the heels to the mat. Deep breath in. Empty it out completely. And find child's pose. Knees wide, toes touch, upper body melts onto the mat. Forehead maybe touches to the mat, maybe doesn't. That's okay. Just relaxing the upper body. Letting the palms press into the mat. Fingertips are spread. Lengthening the spine on your inhale. Pressing the hips a little bit closer to the heels on your exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Take two more of your own breaths in your child's pose. One more. And slowly make your way to seated. Swinging the legs out long in front of you for a forward fold. Staff pose. So bring the legs long, feet are flexed. Finding the sits bones. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Engage the core, protect the low back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Walk yourself back to seated. Taking your time. Finding that bound angle pose. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Knees fall open to the sides. Again, sitting up tall. Take a breath in. Finding length. On your exhale, folding forward, relaxing the head, relaxing the neck, focusing your breath to any areas of tension, trying to soften those on your exhales. It doesn't matter how far you're folding in this pose. Really opening up the lower back, the back of the neck, and the hip flexors. Breathing into that space you're creating. Take two more. One more breath. And slowly rise up to seated. Bring your knees back together. Scoot yourself to the center of your mat if you are not already there. Planting the soles of the feet into the mat, reach the arms out in front of you, and slowly lower yourself with control onto your mat. 
Hugging the knees into the chest when you get there. Massaging out the spine. Either rocking side to side. Or make some circles with the knees. If you're circling, make sure to switch sides. And switch directions, I mean. Finding stillness back at center. Bend the right knee into the chest. Extend the left leg long onto your mat. Coming into your twist. So bringing the right knee across the body, letting it fall to the left. Gaze to the right. Sinking into your twist. Eyes can be open or closed. If your eyes are open, begin to soften your gaze. Begin to relax the breath. Taking two more breaths in your twist. The unwind coming back to center. Switching out the legs. Left knee into the chest. Right leg is long. And bring the left leg across the body, letting it fall to the right. Gaze to the left. Eyes can be open or closed. Sinking into the twist. Trying to keep the shoulders grounded as best as you can. Take two more breaths. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Hugging the knees in. Maybe rocking side to side or making circles once again. Then bringing the feet to the mat, soles to touch, knees open to the sides. Coming into reclined bound angle, bringing one hand to heart, the other hand to your stomach. So one hand is on your heartbeat, the other is on your breath. Close your eyes here and begin to bring your breath back to its natural flow, slowing down the breath, slowing down your heart rate, but keeping the mind focused on the breath and on the heart. And using your hand placement on your breath and on your heart to help you do that. Any outside thoughts begin to come in, just acknowledge them and then let them go. Beginning to come into the relaxing part of your practice. Getting your mind ready for Shavasana, complete rest. Just using a couple breaths in your bound angle to prepare yourself. Letting your eyes fall heavy. Relax your face, your jaw, the space between your eyebrows. Feeling the floor and the mat underneath you holding you up. Feeling the weight of your body just sinking into the mat. Listening to the sound of your breath. And the sounds of your surroundings as they come and go. You can stay right here. 
or stretch out for Shavasana by lengthening the legs long on the mat, extending the arms with the hands at the sides, palms facing the ceiling, relaxing the feet, letting them fall as they may. Just letting everything fall heavy. I'm going to turn off this video and let you enjoy your Shavasana. And I would encourage you to stay here for a couple minutes if you can. But thank you as always for joining me for these virtual classes and we hope to see you in the studio soon.